Welcome back to the channel. So over here in Perry, Florida, Iron Horse Mud Ranch for the dysfunctional family reunion event of 2024. I got a little idea. I'm gonna do this. Gonna be a little short video, just showing the layout of the mud barn. Because people all the time ask me about Iron Horse Mud Ranch. Well, this video is gonna show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start the video right in our campsite, right in the front of Iron Horse Mud Ranch. And we're gonna do a whole little tour. I'll show you the different areas, like the different destination points and areas you want to check out at Iron Horse Mud Ranch. So you guys can get a good feel of what Iron Horse Mud Ranch is all about. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bounce back and forth between the camera I got up on the back of the truck and this. So let's go check out Iron Horse Mud Ranch, y'all. So right now we're at the very beginning of the park, like right where we camp, next to Bobby Brown where his heavy metal fab stuff is set up. And now right up over yonder is our first destination point. Call this the scrap yard. And basically what this is is a really bitch an ATV and side by side freaking obstacle course. So you got somebody kind of going over some of the obstacles right now. It's pretty cool. Now up here, this is kind of a little fork in the road where it kind of everything teardrops out to go around the park. So we're gonna go right through the middle. And going through the middle, off to the left, we've got Vendor Row. They got all kinds of merchandise and everything for sale. It's where you can get all your Iron Horse Mud Ranch swag. And then to the right, they've got a really cool little playground set up for your little ones. Like I said, it's a very family friendly environment for sure. So, daddy can go mud balling, mom and little one can go freaking play in the park. And then up to the right, we've got a little beach and a really badass pond set up too. Not a very hot spot during the winter like this when it's cold out, at least for us for Floridians when it's cold out. But when it gets hot during the summertime for the summer events, it's pretty sick. Perfect spot to have some bikinis on the beach. Now coming up on the left is Vendor Row where you can get all your food soda items. They got everything from hamburgers, tacos, hot dogs. Ride Oreos, Gator Bites, you name it, they got it at this mother freaking place. So now we're gonna continue a little further back and check out the truck tug van. It's right over yonder. It is so freaking cool. It's like Disneyland for mega truck owners. And while we're passing by, these are actually the school bus that will take y'all to and from your camps. Whenever it's dark out, you're not allowed to drive your mega truck side by side or four wheeler around. But keep in mind, if you are a truck tugger like we are, you're definitely allowed to drive your truck to and from the truck tug pad, like from your camp. But you gotta kind of limit your ride around. It's no like bombing around and having fun. It's more like a limited time basis. So now we just made a little left. That is our main mod hall, that's the deep stuff. And then to the left of that is our super bitchin' truck tug of war pan. It is mother freaking sick. They've got double decker freaking stage set up to where you can watch the truck tugs going on. They got sick ass shoots. They got a catwalk you can film front if you're one of our filming guys. And then they got the two pit areas there and there where all the mega trucks will park and stage up before they do the tugs. Yeah, check out this freaking truck tug scene, dude. Is that not a bitchin' freaking truck tug shoot or what? So over the top. It is awesome. This might be my favorite place to tug besides the barn. We'll definitely check out more of that a little bit later on when we actually start doing some truck tugging. But as y'all can see to the right here, the main model is freaking ripping. Looks like everybody's been tearing it up since 7 a.m. this morning. Everybody's ready to rock and mother and roll. can see the main model is 
Teardrop still, so if we would have went left, we'd turn out on this road that we're on, getting ready to turn on right now. But this is basically all camping back here. So now I've heard a decent amount of people that have never been to a mud park like this, they're really concerned about bringing their motor home or camper. So like, I'm not parking that thing in a mud hole. Well, nothing can be further from the truth. And it's not just for this park too, it's with every park. They do a really good job at separating everything. Over here at Iron Horse Mud Ranch, at Plain Bamboo, a lot of the other mud parks, there's a pretty good distance between the mud hole and where you're camping, as y'all can see. video from this one it would just be only on the bounty hole competition but i'll pull up over here and kind of explain what the dealio is if you guys want to check out that video once i get it up you're more than welcome to matter of fact i highly encourage it Bogging in the main model, the little ones can be having some fun. All right, so I kind of spun around, but we're basically like right in the center of the teardrop area. And welcome to the Iron Horse Infamous Bounty Hole. Like this a little bit later there's gonna be spectators mother freaking everywhere they line up all down here like right against the guardrail there all down this guardrail and that is the bounty hole so some of y'all might be wondering what in the hell is a bounty hole Zacho? well i'm gonna learn you basically it's a big trench just like this and everybody stages up back over yonder like right in the main area near the stage they'll draw them out one at a time one truck at a time i'm not sure exactly they always do it differently like how they pick who's going first sometimes you select what number you want sometimes they do it out of a hat but basically everyone takes turns one at a time you line up right at the beginning of the trough they'll send you to go and then you'll rip through and try to get through that bounty hole as fast as you can most of the time not a lot of trucks get through maybe one or two sometimes guys get a little froggy on that goat pedal and there's a few of them but most of the time it's just a couple whoever got through it the fastest they win and they'll win the pot of money it's always different prizes like this particular park i believe might be 500 bucks maybe 1500 i don't know we'll figure it out i'll figure it out in that bounty hole video so if y'all are more interested in that definitely recommend y'all go through the channel and check out that video because if i had to guess i posted it somewhere around this one if i had to guess maybe after this one a little bit 
But that is our bounty hole. So let's go ahead and continue forward, checking out the rest of the park. the bounty hole area that was back over yonder and to our side there is the main mud hole and then remember that teardrop shape so that's the main road that runs right through the center of it and goes right on over to the back of the park So now we've made it over to the Iron Horse Freestyle area. And again, we're at the back of the park at the very bottom of the teardrop. So remember that main road that goes through the center basically comes this way, it's just that way just a little bit. It's like uh, right over yonder, right behind those RVs. Main mud hole is over there, vendor area and where we're camped is all the way out that way. And then we've already kind of explored that whole side of it where all the camp and everything comes around that side of the teardrop. So now back in this back corner, this is the freestyle area, and this is where they'll hold the Iron Horse Freestyle Competition. It's pretty damn cool. So they've got just basically like an obstacle course. They've got some jumps, they've got some mud you go through. They'll set up tires for people to jump over, and they'll get freestyle trucks. Everybody will line up on this back edge right there where you see them kind of junker vehicles. But they'll go ahead and line up, and then one at a time, the trucks will come out. They'll do like five minutes or so of freestyle, just jumping jumps, doing burnouts, doing donuts, doing whatever they can do to get the crowd ramped up. This boy knows how to freestyle. of the run they'll have a couple spectators that they've selected from the crowd three of them i believe that'll have numbers one through ten and they'll go ahead and judge it and whoever gets the highest score of all the trucks that are competing they take home the pot of money and again i think it's like 1500 bucks so kind of freaking cool it's kind of like monster jam but amateur monster jam if you don't have a bunch of corporate sponsors and all and you still want to go tear your stuff up they got a place for y'all to do it pretty bitching so let's uh let's continue there's a little bit more to see at this place and then now uh, we're going to get to the freaking model and start watching people tear their stuff up side-by-sides that love doing some trail riding and want to do some mud bogging yourself they got a whole designated area just for y'all so that you don't get run over by a monster truck and the trails go like really far back there if y'all go further back on my channel i've got a video where i had my old side-by-side -side, and we went bombing around me and a couple of my friends went bombing around in the trails back there it's pretty cool there's some real deep stuff to almost swap my side-by-side -side. bro it is so deep video.
other side of the smaller model that was to the right of that main road we were on earlier. But as y'all can see, there is no shortage of space for camping. Some of y'all might be thinking, oh, don't look all that busy. Well, it's only Friday. A lot of people got to work. So I'm sure there's going to be more people here. But also the forecast says it's supposed to rain like all week. And obviously they ain't doing that right now. But you know, maybe some people decide not to come because they're worried they're going to get rained on. But I mean, we're going through mud. Or are you going to get wet? Oh, well, it made no sense. Now, as we're coming up back towards the front of the park over where we camp, it got me thinking. Some of y'all might not know what a truck tug of war is, what that truck tug pad was for. The Super Mitchell Stage Hall. I've got a ton of other videos on that. If y'all are interested in it, you can definitely check out my channel because that's one of my favorite things to do. Favorite things to video. Amazing, they take two trucks, similar size, similar weight, put a tow strap between them, and see you can pull the other one backwards. There's two tools of thought behind that. One, you can be nice and heavy and kind of tiptoe away with the freaking wind. That's not the way we do it, and that's usually not the stuff I put on my channel, because that's it's like watching paint dry or watching grass grow. Not all that cool, though. It's Kyle and it ain't killing it. But then the second school of thought, which is what me and my boys do, as soon as that signal light turns green, you slam that fuel pedal through the mother freaking floorboard and put on a super bitch and smoke show for everybody and get the crowd all freaking ramped up. Now, me and my boys that think that way, we consider it a win if you're the crowd favorite, you get the crowd all ramped up, if everyone's excited to see you do your match. Um, we don't really care who pulls the other one backwards. Now, I will say, I said this in my other video, if it's like a pretty evenly matched setup and you guys are doing a badass burnout, really turn them up, and then one of the trucks starts to pull the other one backwards, then yeah, we'll consider that a win. It's kind of cool. You got bragging rights to pull the other guy backwards. But if you're just heavier than him and you just pull him, it doesn't take no skill to make your truck heavy, bro. Just a bunch of weight. But that is what truck tugs are and what truck tug war is all about. is the mud pit layout. So that's the big deep part. That's where all of us big truck guys go. And then over here is what they call the DOT hole. Basically that's just a little bit more forgiving mud, not really such deep holes. You can't go in a bit faster over here than you can over here because over here there's some holes that might swallow your truck. Like I know that hole right there I parked next to it last event, and that stuff gets super deep to where it will eat this truck. say what tire size you gotta have in order to go in those holes. They're more what you call guidelines than actual rules. But if you got a big massive 35.5 truck, you probably don't wanna be going in the DOT hole because you aren't gonna have any fun. I mean, it's usually those trucks move a little bit slower anyway, so going slower through stuff that's not very deep ain't all that fun. 
but yeah, looks like our boy Heavy Metal Fat, Mr. Bobby Brown, looks like he's gonna do some mud bogging his own self over here in the main freaking mud hole. And that main hole is freaking big. Both of them are big. I mean, the DOT hole is like this main area, and then there's like a little ravine thing right there. And there's a whole bunch of mud right down over yonder. But the main hole that's over here off to the left, this thing freaking wraps all the way around. I'll kind of go along it, and you all be able to check it out. Looks like people are already starting to line up and see it. Look, they got the escalator. They're turning up the brick of mountain wall, making a nice super pass. You know, it looks like some of the contestants are already starting to line up. Now, I'd say that's the only thing that's a little skittish about this park is they're not really telling what's what until you've seen a truck go through and at that event because it changes all the time. But there is some really deep holes that will completely eat my truck. I think it's kind of cool. It's at every park, or they have something like this at almost every park, but it's a freaking buggy wash. They don't have it on right now, figures. I drove all over to check it out and they don't have it on. But basically they'll have water spraying off of this to be able to clean your truck off, so you don't have to go around with a nasty, muddy truck the entire weekend. We usually end up hitting that at nighttime, right before we go on the truck tuck pad, so the truck looks nice and dirty for our freaking smoke shows. But that concludes our video layout of Iron Horse Mud Ranch. So if y'all enjoyed the video and you think you might like Iron Horse Mud Ranch, definitely recommend y'all check out one of their upcoming events. They announce them on social media, on Facebook, Instagram. Just look for Iron Horse Mud Ranch. Or you can go on their website, ironhorsemudranch.com. Or follow the Killing It page, Killing It Lifestyle on Instagram or on Facebook. Or keep watching our YouTube videos, which you should already be doing that anyways. But I'm always announcing events that we'll be going to or events that interest us. So if you follow our pages, you'll be able to get a heads up on when the next Iron Horse Mud Ranch event is going to be coming up. And keep an eye out on the channel because I do have a couple videos I'm going to be putting up from that specific event. Plus, I got a bunch of other videos that are earlier on in the channel from previous events at Iron Horse Mud Ranch. In the future, you all know we're going to keep hitting up Iron Horse Mud Ranch. So there'll be a bunch of videos to come from future events. But like I said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching, y'all. If y'all enjoyed the video and want to check out future videos, subscribe to our channel. Hit that button right there. While you're at it, hit the like button at the bottom of your screen. You can also check out our website, killingitlifestyle.com. There you can follow the Killing It crew and order your own apparel so everyone will know you're killing it!